There are six weeds that have developed resistance to glyphosate in Nebraska, including giant ragweed. But UNL Research says the majority of giant ragweed here emerges before planting begins, meaning pre-plant tillage or spraying can be effective. UNL studies show tillage can result in greater than 80% control. Further, results show pre-plant tillage followed by a herbicide application pre- or post-emergence can provide more than 97% control throughout the year. We recently talked with Nebraska Extension Weed Management Specialist Amit Jala to learn more about the management of giant ragweed after a warm winter across the state. That's a perfect uh, condition for weeds to emerge, so I expect uh, more early season weed emergence this year compared to last uh, couple of years because of the warm weather, plus uh, we received some rainfall at least before a uh, few days uh, in eastern part of the state, so I'm expecting more emergence of early season weeds, for example, mare's tail, um, giant ragweed in eastern part of the state, uh, plus uh, kochia in western part of the state. Even in this field, you said there's emer weeds emerging that would be w earlier than normal. Yes, I, I saw some common lamb squatters that are coming up uh, early uh, this year, and I think this is just uh, because of the warm weather and uh, some of the moisture that we received uh, recently. Let's talk about giant ragweed. What kind of problem is it in Nebraska? Giant ragweed is one of the problem weeds in Nebraska because number one, it's an early emerging weed. So if uh, growers will not control giant ragweed early enough, uh, it can create uh, extreme competition with uh, corn or soybean crops and then um, growers can lose the yield uh, So because it's an early emerging. Plus, um, before a few years, we have confirmed glyphosate resistant giant ragweed in the state of Nebraska and several growers are still using only glyphosate uh, as a pre-plant burndown program. So that will not be effective for control of uh, glyphosate resistant giant ragweed. So because of these two reasons, uh, giant ragweed is a problem weed uh, in Nebraska. What's the emergence pattern of this weed? Giant ragweed typically emerges uh, early in the season um, before corn or soybean planting and uh, Research we conducted at UNL before a couple of years uh, suggested that majority of giant ragweed emerges uh, before corn or soybean planting. So that's why they are taking advantage of uh, established first uh, before corn or soybean will emerge and they can provide uh, extreme competition with the crops. So what's the best time for management then? Before it's early emerging, so best time for management of uh, giant ragweed is uh, before planting corn and soybean and um, we have some herbicide options. Uh, for example, giant ragweed is uh, very sensitive to 2,4-D, uh, which is uh, also one of the commonly used herbicides in burn down programs. So that's a good news. We can still control giant ragweed or common ragweed, which is also um, same species uh, of uh, ragweed, belongs to Ambrosia family. So both of them can be controlled by applying 2,4-D uh, at least before two weeks of planting corn or soybean. And what's the non-chemical method for control? We have conducted research for a couple of years in last uh, three years uh, and uh, we have tested uh, pre-plant tillage uh, and tillage has provided uh, pretty effective control for this early emerging giant ragweed. Uh, I understand that majority of growers in Nebraska are no-till growers and they do not prefer to use tillage but in certain conditions when they have extreme weed pressure like giant ragweed or even mare's tail uh, where our post-emergence herbicide options are extremely limited. So in that situation, I think it is useful to use uh, pre-plant tillage and to get rid of uh, those uh, early emerging giant ragweed plants. And good thing about giant ragweed is uh, at least in Nebraska, we have seen only monophasic emergence means they will emerge uh, only once and then um, I have, we haven't seen any late emergence in giant ragweed, so that's a good news and we can exploit their early emergence by applying early plant uh, either herbicides uh, like 2,4-D or even we have seen good control with uh, herbicide active ingredient known as saflufenacil, which is a uh, uh, trade name of herbicides that belongs in saflufenacil are sarpon and verdict. Uh, these are commonly used herbicides, so uh, it is better to not to use 2,4-D every year, but the growers can also use saflufenacil before planting or tillage, as I told you before. So there are some 
options are available for effective management of giant ragweed and I suggest better to diversify weed control program by including tillage as a non-chemical control options for giant ragweed. You can find more information about managing glyphosate resistant giant ragweed on the CropWatch website. We'll also link to that article on the Market Journal homepage.